Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone. And today I am in beautiful Bavaria with Felix from Quadcopter Guide. Hey man, what's up? Hey man, how's it going? Excellent. Thanks so, for stopping by. <laughs> I am so excited to be here. So this is a family trip. Uh, I reached out to Felix. I've been a fan of his channel for a while. By the way, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, it is Quadcopter Guide. Right? Quadcopter Guide, correct. So if you search for Quadcopter Guide, it's there. I'll also put a link in the description and throw one at the end of this video as well. Perfect. But regardless, um, go check it out. He does a lot of awesome stuff. As a matter of fact, he just just totally nailed the prediction about the new DJI um, Robo Master. Robo Master yeah. thing, yeah. <laughs> he was the first video I saw that actually got it right. So congrats on that. Hey, thanks, man. So anyway, he's been showing myself and my family around here in Bavaria. And I know you tuned in to see a review of the Tenergy uh, charger. But before we get to that, I have a couple things I want to mention real yeah. quick. First of all, Spin Up is coming up. If you don't know what that is, it's a drone event. He's heard of it all the way over here. Yeah, I wish I could go, man. <laughs> it's it's a long way for you to come yeah, all the way to Texas. Maybe next year. October 19th, um, it's dronespinup.com, so you can go there, number one. And secondly, I'm gonna put a link in the description for a survey that we're doing about Spin Up. We are trying to get your feedback to find out what kind of speakers we should have so that we can have those people there. So if you'll do that survey, I would certainly appreciate it. And then finally, I just, again, wanna say, Thank you to Felix for showing me around Deutschland. No and, worries, man. Uh, go check out Quadcopter Guide. So now on to the review of the battery charger video. Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone. And today I have the T180 from Tenergy. This is a fairly new uh, charger for multiple size batteries. Um, it'll charge just about any LiPo battery or different types of batteries you might have. And today we're gonna check it out, so stay tuned. So first of all, I'd like to thank Tenergy for sending this to me. Um, they know that I've been a big fan of theirs for a while. I've been using this Tenergy uh, TB6B, which is a charger I've had for a number of years. Um, and I think this serves a very similar function. It just has a touch screen and a few other extra things. Now, we're gonna set this one aside for a moment and pull out the new one. And I actually haven't used the new one yet, but I think it'll be pretty easy to use. One of the things this new one has is a touchscreen, which um, once I got to know the buttons on this, then it was not too hard, but there's a lot of kind of moving around through menus you have to do on this. With the touchscreen, I think it's gonna be a little easier because you can actually touch exactly what you want rather than having to scroll from menu to menu. So the new charger, the T180, the big brother, is right here. And it's got, as I said, this touchscreen right on the front. Um, it has a cooling fan over on the side, has the breakout port here for the different size batteries, um, and then the output for the different types of batteries. This is for the balance port, this is for the actual uh, connector to the battery. It's got your DC in, so if you wanted to run this off a battery, and it's got your AC in, so if you wanted to run this off a wall plug, which is what we're gonna do, and it's got a USB and a temperature gauge. I believe this temperature gauge allows you to measure external temperature, but you have to have a, a a sensor to put into it, so I don't think it works right out of the box with that. So we'll go ahead and pull out the rest of the stuff here in the box, and then what I'm going to do is show you a couple of scenarios of how you would use it. So in the box you get the AC cable, which is right here, you get a banana plug, which I believe if you wanted to run this off of like a car battery or another lead acid battery, you could plug this uh, DC cable into the side here. If I said AC before, I meant DC. And then power this thing from this cable right here. Um, I don't see myself doing that. I'm rarely charging in a spot where I don't have AC power. So, um, and I believe this is probably compatible with different um, countries in terms of voltages. Uh, I'm in the US, so I'm using 110. So, you know, I'll use this plug, but I would guess that this plug would be easily swappable for 220 if you were Europe, someplace that used 220. As a matter of fact, yep, there it is right there. So it's on the side, 100 volt to 240 volts. So this unit would be compatible in different countries. You would just need a different plug or even just an adapter to go on the end to plug in, but you wouldn't fry this thing if you plugged it in. So let's go ahead and plug it in and let it hopefully come to life. Provided, yep, there we go. And you can see it has uh, LiPo, which is lithium polymer, it's got uh, lithium ion, uh, I think that's lithium uh, Fe, 
uh, is iron, I think. Uh, HV, I think it's high voltage. Nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and that's a lead lead battery, like a like a car battery. And then this is if you wanted to actually use this as a power source, um, where you could actually use it to power something like a drone while you were uh, while you were setting up the drone in beta flight or clean flight. Basically, this thing is used for more hobbyists. It's not going to be used for like a DJI drone because it's only compatible with um, standard batteries, not proprietary batteries. So this is the breakout cable that goes into the side. And let's see if it fits right in here. And then this is your breakout cable that has all the different types of battery connectors on it for different types of batteries. You want to make sure to put the red into the red and the black into the black, positive and negative. And then these are what you would actually connect to the battery. Now, one thing, Tenergy, I don't know what you're thinking, but there's new, no uh, XD60 connector on this thing. And that, I happen to have an XD60 um, connector right over here. You can buy these online, they're really cheap, and it doesn't really matter, you don't have to use this breakout cable, but the majority of my batteries are XD60. Now, Tenergy did leave two blank wires here, so if you were handy and you wanted to solder, uh, XD60 connector to the end of this, you could. It would be very easy to do. Um, or you could just go on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. You could buy one of these uh, dedicated XD60 connectors. Uh, I would probably also want to have an XT30, which is the smaller version of this. And since we are going to be using batteries with XD60 connectors, I'll go ahead and put this guy on. But just know this cable does not come with it, and the breakout cable doesn't include an XD60 connector. I hope that's something Tenergy will fix. I don't, I don't really understand why there isn't one. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the red and into the black. Oh, and by the way, this is the stylus that it comes with that you can use with the touchscreen. So it, it works fine with your finger. You can hear it beeping as I go through it. Uh, but some people prefer stylus. I think actually I would like the stylus better to be able to get more precise with it. So I can kind of click through and see the different settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, LiPo, or lithium polymer, which is what these batteries are. There's the LiPo setting. And I'm going to, so that's charge, discharge, store. You can also balance your cells. So if you're running a 3S or a 4S or a 5S battery, sometimes those cells get out of balance, meaning that one has more of a charge than another. This will allow you to actually equalize those cells. Um, and most good um, hobby uh, chargers do that. So now I'm into the charge setting. Uh, we're going to start with this 3S battery. So it's a 3S uh, 2,200 milliamp hour battery, um, which means that we want to go to the voltage here and go up. Because the 3S battery, see it says 1S right there, 3.7 1S. Every cell in a battery like these is typically around 3.7 volts. So a 2S is going to be 7.4, and a 3S is going to be 11.1, which is what this is. It's, you can even see it says 11.1 .1 volts, 3S battery. Now, the milliamp capacity, think of the milliamp hours as the fuel tank. It's how much juice is in this thing. It's 2,200 milliamp hours, so it's a lot more than what this has. So this has 50, so I'm going to run this all the way up to 2,200. Yeah, 2.2 2 .2 amps, or... 2200 milliamps because that's one thousandth and it also tells you what the uh, voltage per cell should be so now if you think 4.2 per cell times three cells equals more than 11.1 you're right because 11.1 is sort of the nominal rate of what that um, cell is going to be 4.2 is what you want to charge it up to and then it'll actually run down uh, less than that and, and it'll go from above 11.1 to below 11.1. 11.1 is sort of the, the medium spot. By the way, this little stylus fits right in here, which is pretty cool. It has a little tab to pull it out. Um, it's right in there, and um, I, I like the stylus. So we're going to go into charge mode. It's in balance mode right now. I believe everything is all set for this to do its thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this uh, 3S battery into the appropriate um, balance port here. And I'm going to plug the XD60 connector into here. And then I'm going to hit 
enter. Let's see if I can show you this. Enter. Oh, you have to long press it to make it go. It says uh, input is okay, battery is okay. Um, it's checking to see that it's a 3S and it is. And so I'm gonna say start. And now it's charging. And there's a timer, you can see. Um, so it will only charge for a certain amount of time. Let's see what this graph does. Oh, this gives you a graph of, um, of kind of where it is in the charge, I guess. That's really interesting. Units. Oh, there's my three cells. You can see they're all pretty even. Um, cell one is 4.02, cell two is 4.02, cell three is now 4.02, it was 4.01, so it's balancing them out. And yeah, this is just uh, gonna run for a little bit and charge this battery. Um, there are also some custom settings you can do on this. You can go in and you can uh, set up different types of batteries. So if you use a lot of 3S um, 2200 milliamp hour batteries like this one, you can set a custom setting for those so that you don't have to go through and do the, do the um, settings each time. You can just select that as the custom settings. I have here a 4S battery uh, that I'm going to uh, charge as well. This is, this is actually for my new CineWoop, which I'm really excited about. It's 1300 milliamp hour, so it'll be a little different setting. So what I'll probably do, I have a few of these. I'll probably set up two different settings, one for this 3S, I'll give it a name. Um, this is actually the battery for the original Phantom One that uh, still works and I still fly and I'm actually gonna take it out and fly today. So that's kind of it. That's my overview of the uh, Tenergy T180. It's, um, it is a great charger. Um, it's definitely one that if you have a lot of hobby batteries or you're getting flying different types of drones, will do a good job for you. I'm still a fan of my old guy here, but as far as being intuitive and easy to use, I feel like the touch screen is a lot easier because you just touch each thing and you don't have to search through menus using these buttons down here. Some people like the feeling of the buttons, you know, which, which I don't blame them, it's kind of kind of cool, but the touch screen gives you a nice satisfying beep when you touch it. You can change that, um, change that beep out. Uh, it's definitely something that everybody needs if you're gonna get into flying FPV or just flying multiple drones. And like I said, if you end up buying one, I highly recommend also ordering the XT60 connector because you'll end up needing it for a lot of your different batteries. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about drones, drone accessories, battery chargers, and all that good stuff, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.